This is verse 214 from Sri Sri Radharasta Sudhanidhi. <clears throat> when will I forget I forget everything else? Okay. Samo trenutak, just a second, uh, maybe uh, Radha Charan needs <coughs> translation. It's not set for the Russian. Is my sound any better? Yeah, it's good. I think. I think. Echo is coming. But but now I have an echo. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So we are reading Sri Sri Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, verse number 214. When will I forget everything else? While mentally serving that heroine, which is expert in all the art of love making, who is seen on the lovely forest path of Sri Vrindavan, and who has deep, passionate feelings. Accepting a very sweet and devoted mood in my heart, I will dwell in a kunja on the bank of the Yamuna that is filled with an abundance of the fresh nectar of love rasa that flows from Shiradika's lotus feet. When will I forget everything else? While mentally serving that heroine who is expert in all the arts of love making, who is seen on the lovely forest path of Sri Vrindavan. and who has deep, passionate feelings, accepting a very sweet and devoted mood in my heart. Sorry, we don't hear you, Rasamai. Yeah, no? So sorry, yeah. my sound is breaking. Yeah. Isn't now it's it? okay. Now we hear you. I'm sorry, my dears. Accepting a very sweet and devoted mood in my heart. I will dwell in a kunja on the bank of the Yam that is filled with an abundance 
of the fresh nectar of love rasa that flows from Sri Radhika's lotus feet. Raga Muga A Raga Anuga practice is of two kinds. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila 22. There are two kinds of practice external and internal. Externally, by hearing and chanting, in one's external material body and internally, mentally, by thinking, thinking of one's own Tida Deha, spiritual body, in which one serves Radha and Krishna in Raja day and night. Although smarana or remembrance of Radha Mohana's pastimes and one's own service therein is the main limb of Raganuga Bhakti, still the ex external practice of hearing and chanting should not be neglected. The external practice of hearing and chanting nourishes the internal remembrance of the desired service. And the internal remembrance also nourishes the external practice of hearing and chanting. An effort to give up hearing and chanting untimely and only to continue the mental service will not be successful. Rather, the mind will gradually dry up and become contaminated by sensual thoughts, both external and internal practice must be done, therefore. Radhe, Radhe. So we can see here how Baba is giving very nice introduction in the com on his commentary, and he's giving us instructions how to properly practice Raga Nuga Bhakti. So we can go again from the beginning and please Rasamai read slowly and devote Gurudev and devotees I will try to say something about it. Raga Anuga practice is of two kinds, external and internal. Got it. So we can see here how Raga Anuga Bhakti has these two kinds of devotional service, external and internal. And we know that in Vaidhi Bhakti, there is only external devotional service. In Vaidhi Bhakti, we 
devotees are practicing Shravanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam and all limbs of Navada Bhakti, nine limbs, main nine limbs of Bhakti, but they are not focused on relationship and Vaidhi Bhakti is not focused on his own spiritual identity. But in Raganuga Bhakti, we hear here how important is this interaction, interaction between external and internal practicing. And this interaction is nourishing each other. Even devotees who already attained Siddhi, Siddhi, perfection, still they're practicing external devotional life, like hearing, remembering, worshipping, and so on. But the way how they are doing is very much attached to their spiritual identity. And whatever they are doing on external platform, deep in their mind, in their heart, in their consciousness, they are aware about their spiritual identity and spiritual relationship with beloved Ishtadev. So this is the checking point for each devotee who wants to practice Raga Nuga Bhakti, who feels eagerness for Raga Nuga Bhakti, that whatever he is doing in his life, he always be aware in his mind, in his heart, about his spiritual relationship and spiritual identity. If this aspect, inner aspect of practicing is lacking in the life of devotee, or it's not so strongly established, then it can happen that devotee is practicing only externally with his body and will not be able to enter deeply in the levels of loving relationship with Ishtadev, but also in loving relationship with other devotees, pure devotees. And Antadas Babaji, in his commentary here in this paragraph, is very clearly, is trying to help us. And Gurudev many, many times we're talking, and it's very important to talk, so that each of, one of us is always checking himself inside about this two kind of practices, external, but also internal. Baba is now continuing to explain more detail. Externally, by hearing and chanting in one's external material body. And internally, mentally, by thinking of one's own Siddha Deha, spiritual body, in which one serves Radha and Krishna in Braja, day and night. 
So how devotee can serve Radha and Krishna day and night in Vraja? Only through his spiritual body, Siddha Deha. Radhika and Krishna, they already have a spiritual body. They don't have any other body. So only way how we can be in real Vrindavan, spiritual Vrindavan, not Vrindavan which we see with our materialistic senses. And the only way how we can be close to Radhika and her Mohan is to accept the spiritual body and by practice develop this Bhava Deh or this Swarupa spiritual body. Because only someone who has a spiritual senses, spiritual existence, spiritual identity can approach to person who is already spiritual. And for that, we need strong established relationship in which relationship I want to be like here Prabhupada Saraswati establishing his relationship with Radhika and say I want that I'm always so close with Radhika in my spiritual body but what he is doing Externally, with his materialistic body, he's offering prayers to Radhika. And he is praying that he becomes more absorbed in his spiritual body. So he is using Sadakavesh by offering humble, loving prayers to Radhika to give him a kripa to always be absorbed in his spiritual body. So he's using materialistic body like a tool to attain a goal, like an instrument. And if we see the beginning of the words he is praying when i will forget everything else while mentally serving the heroine heroine radhika i want to forget my bodily consciousness, bodily way of thinking. And not only that I just want to forget it, but I want to fix my mind in my radhika. Because maybe we can receive the mercy for to, to forget the past and forget the materialistic way of life. But what is the use of this for kind of forgetfulness if we not direct our mind and senses to Shimate Radhara? So Prabhupada Saraswati is praying to Shimati Radhika, I want to forget everything because I want to practice mental service on you. And this means I want to pra practice in my mind to serve you because I have this body, but I accept the position that I am your maidservants. So this is my sadhana. Externally, I will listen every subject which is about you, my dear Radhe. Nothing else anymore. 
externally, I want to speak only about you, my Radha. Nothing else. And internally, I always want to think about you and your loving pastimes. Internally. Outside, I will listen just this subject. But internally, I will serve you <clears throat> through my spiritual body. And for this, our Gurudev and other Acharyas, so many times is saying, yes, this is the explanations, but we have to practice this. And when we forget it, then, okay, come back again on the same path. Never forget that this Raganuga depends on internal and external interaction of spiritual life. Please listen. If some devotees Guru Dev wants to. Now is coming. Very important thing. Although smarana or remembrance of Radha Mohana's fasting and one's own service therein is the main limb of Raganuga Bhakti. Still, the external practice of hearing and chanting should not be neglected. Yeah. This is so valuable instruction. Because maybe sometimes we can think it's enough that I always practice Marana. But which kind of smarana I will practice, where I will direct my mind if I don't listen about the pastimes of Shimate Radhika, from those who are already there and serving her. And Baba is giving here this warning and also instruction. Although the main leap of Raganuga Bhakti is Smarana, because Smarana is charged with feelings, inner feelings, then it's real Smarana. When you love someone, when you are attached with someone, then you, we are thinking on that person with feelings. But Baba is saying, but still, the practicing of hearing and chanting should not be neglected. Not hearing and chanting should not be neglected in the way that we are doing in a mechanical way, formal way. But also this kind of hearing has to help devotees that the subject about his listening penetrate deeply in his heart, not to go in another ear. Because Listening and hearing, maybe in dictionary is the same translation, but devotees understand the differences. Listening something can be superficial, only outside. But really hearing something, it means that process of listening is practice, but the subject is going directly to the heart. And this is the hearing. 
And hearing means feeling, because without feeling, there is no hearing, only listening. And when someone really hears something and feel, then he is able to be, to, to go in action, to do something. Because he is inspired inside and his heart is trembling. <coughs> he cannot be peaceful. <coughs> and because of this hearing, beautiful sam uh, Smarana remembers is blooming in his heart. This is the process. And we should try to beg for the mercy to properly practice this process. Exact without our own improvisations. And Baba is saying here, hearing, chanting cannot be neglected. There must be some spontaneous effort to do this. And for example, these, these Zoom Sanghas are very nice opportunity for all of us to practice this sadhana. Hearing, reading, <coughs> talking. But with full heart and absorbed mind as much as we can. Then Baba is going in the next sentence. Please, Rasamay. The external practice of hearing and chanting nourishes the internal remembrance of the desired service. And the internal remembrance also nourishes the external practice of hearing and chanting. So this is the beautiful interaction between external and eternal practicing. They are depending on each other. They are nourishing each other. They are making intense each other. External practice of hearing nourishes internal remembrance. So we are using our ears by listening and hearing. Then starts remembrance. When we hear something, it means that we accepted that. When we don't accept something, so many things we can listen. But if we are not accepting that, they are passing in one year, coming in one year and passing through the, another year. Because we are not interesting and we don't want to accept. But if listening becomes hearing, then proper remembrance is appearing in the heart and in the mind. Chitta. And then this kind of nice remembrance, not all remembrance, but nice, deep, sensitive remembrance, intense remembrance, will bring the taste and relishing the devotee wants to hear more and more and more again about subject which his heart is relishing. 
So this is the interaction and this process which we have to practice to master it. And, but, and with the humble hearing and humble remembering, we will purify our heart. We will prepare our heart to receive Kripa. And the more loving remembrance is a present in the heart, and the more loving hearing is relishing through the cups of the ears, the heart is more preparing for receiving. And this is not just the words. We should have experience of that. As Gurudev said, you need realization. So Baba is helping and all Acharyas. He is speaking the instruction from all Acharyas how to do this process. Don't neglecting external hearing and practicing external things but always aware of your internal position. Please. An effort to give up hearing and chanting untimely and only to continue the mental service will not be successful. Again, please. Yes. An <coughs> effort to give up <coughs> hearing and chanting untimely and only to continue the mental service will not be successful. Rather, the mind will gradually dry up and wow. become... <laughs> you see what is happening? The mind will dry up without hearing. It's amazing. Because this hearing is transcendental process and the words what we are listening are transcendental words and because of that they are nourishing the soul they are nourishing the spiritual identity they are nourishing the spiritual relationship because these words has a potency golden words maha vanis they are nourishing the soul and also strengthening the mind And what does it mean to strengthen the mind? To make him one-pointed. When mind is one-pointed, then he is strong, not stubborn. Strong and stubborn is not the same point. But when the mind is drowned in smarana, in bhajan, remembering the pastimes, O oh, beloved Radhika, he is becoming more one-pointed. And the more one-pointed is, he is thirsty for listening and hearing more and more glorification about his beloved Shimataradara. Otherwise, without hearing, the mind gradually, gradually will dry up. Mind, it means also heart. Heart will dry up. Then? The mind will gradually dry up and become contaminated 
by sensual thoughts. This is the result. It starts with dryness <laughs> in the mind and heart, but some activities always has to be. And which kind of activities devotee whose mind and heart are dried up can perform sensual activities again. So Baba here in this paragraph is giving so valuable instructions, which we need to apply in our daily life. And he is concluding this paragraph with the last sentence. Both external and internal practice must be done, therefore. So what we should do? Accept. Like Guru does say, assign. I agree with this treatment, which perfect doctor is giving to me. He is giving medicine and he is giving the way how to use this medicine. And I have full faith in my doctor. I have full faith in his diagnosis. And I have full faith in prescription of medicine and treatment which I have to put little effort to do it with full faith. We need the faith that we can follow this and that this is the truth, the path which will bring us to the goal. Otherwise, we can talk and talk and talk and think and think and think and remember, but if we don't have a faith, it means that we cannot properly follow Gurudev, Acharyas, Rasik, pure devotees. We cannot follow them externally, and it means that we are not properly followed internally. But if we just accept this, humbly, surrender to this instruction, maybe if we do some 10%, 15% of that, we will feel some nectar, which will inspire us for maybe to make 20%, or maybe more and more and more. And these words from Chaitanya Charitamrita is so important. Please, Rasami, if you... Again, from the beginning of commentary. Baya Chaitanya. Mm. Mm. Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhya 22. 156 and 157. It's not written here, but I found, <laughs> I researched, and I found, because I want to know exactly when someone is asking me for myself. 156 and 157. There are two kinds of practice, external and internal. Externally, by hearing and chanting in one's external material body and internally, mentally, by thinking of one's own Siddha Deha, spiritual body, in which one serves Radha Krishna in Vraja day and night. Mone nija sida deha koriya bhavana. Mone 
mana, money, mind has to be absorbed in remembering of my Siddhadeh. While simultaneously in the same time, I'm listening the subject about I want to meditate and mentally serve. So, and this here is a Kore Vraje Krishnera Sevana or Kore Vraje Radha Mohan Sevana, like Rasamai very cleverly read it. It means that we should follow the mood of those who already have a bhava, who already in this position, in service. So, Vraja Lokanu Sarata, Ragunath uh, Rupa Goswami is saying, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. And our charyas many times says, without following those who already per perfect mood, perfect bhav, it's not possible to properly practice smaran. We cannot practice Smaran remembrance independently. I, Edradika. No. Radha Dasi, Anu Dasi, Anu Dasi, Anu Dasi, Anu Dasi. Vraja Loka Anu Sarata. I'm following these ragatmika devotees, eternally perfect devotees, I follow all this parampara, the same mood of devotees who are already attained perfection, and in that way I am practicing my remembrance. Because in that remembrance, it's not ordinary remembrance, in that remembrance is infused above. What is the use of remembrance if there is no feelings, spiritual feelings and above, which I hankering? But through them, through this chain of parampara, Disciplic succession, disciplic succession. So it means that each of them were following his superior. Disciplic means following superior. Disciplic succession. And it will bring success. <laughs> and this kind of remembrance and smarn is what our acharyas are giving advice to us to follow. And always check, am I following properly or not? When I forgot, then remember again. Doubt it. It took long time, I'm sorry. And maybe Gurudev, it will be very nice if you can help us more. Or Ji. So we will make the interviews for now and please come, please join us. <clears throat> yes. yes. So can I little talk? Yes, yes. So Goranga Sundra Pabu talking so sweetly and nicely explained. And uh, 
I was reading Birapak Sumanjari Anandas Babaji Maharaj. And uh, he's saying, uh, hearing Birapak Sumanjari, if we hear continuously, then this hearing, uh, we, that hearing wake us our swarupa. So, he's saying, especially this Birapak Sumanjari, he's saying, not one place, a few places. So, I'm thinking, why is that? Because Guru Devs give us so nice this internal Sangha and different devotee sharing. Generally speaking, if say Goranga Sundara Babu is staying in Croatia, maybe only Croatian devotee could take benefit from his words. Not for us, generally speaking, because he's staying in, in, you know, in Croatia most of the time. But today, Damodara Prabhu gave us some sharing. So only Russian devotee could taste his realization. Or, you know, Suniti Didi, or Gora Sundara. They are only German devotee. So, but if we hear from each other very advanced devotee, experienced devotee, then this inspiration of also come through their words or through, through this Guru Dev's words, Guru Dev's Baba's words, or Raghunadas Baba's words, Raghunadas Goswami's words. So, hearing continuously, especially Bilapak Sumanjari Radhara Sasdanidi, that feeling of Anandas Babaji Maharaj, or feeling of Raghunadas Babaji Maharaj, or feeling of our Guru Devs, infuse us. And also, Guru Devs from beginning, I think I'm hearing Guru Dev 2013, since 2013, in my case. He's always saying, try to meditate in this, in this past time, today, all day long. At that time, I was kind of, you know, information collector. <laughs> I was thinking, why, why not do, not one, one, one pastime? Why not two, three, four? I was thinking like this. And at that time, Guru Dev was stressing, lead slowly. At that time, I was thinking, you know, better to lead fast. You know. <laughs> Better to, you know, a few, a few sentences or, you know, or half page. Better we, you know, we should read one page, two page. Why not? Before I was thinking like this. But slowly, slowly I understood. Because to digest and to meditate one point, we need just one attention. Each day one bus. Then, and then every day, every day listening, every day, every day talking. Like, like today, Goranga Sundara Ji has to talk. One sense, forcefully talk because in his tune. But this talking, he also inspire. We also inspire. And hearing, after hearing, and we meditate. Then that meditation become more, what is say, more clear, more vivid. And our, you know, my, my, my mind is very dull, honestly. But slowly, slowly, this is stay in the heart, stay in, a, in, in my mind. 
So, and we, we, after hearing, we must think about our Swarup, our real identity. Then day by day, or hour after hour, because today we have a, you know, three class, Russian class, <laughs> and morning class. You know, sometimes three class, sometimes four class, sometimes, sometimes one class, two class, but, uh, you know, sometimes four class. So then that kind of remembrance become very intense. So therefore, Baba's was actually slowly, slowly, I could understand. Yeah, true. Hearing, 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 Virak Manjari, then Swarupa will manifest. So I believe this Mahabani. We should believe this Mahabani. We should believe Gurudev's words. Gurudev's words is Mahabani. If we believe, the hope is coming. In hope is coming, then love is coming. Then we can enter Radha Mohan's pastime. That's my feeling. Radha, Radha. Thank you. I feel the same. Please. I have the same feeling. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> so Jayanandaji is making a point actually how to read and how to listen not going fast page after page page after page page after page 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 hundred page I read in one hour hundred pages so what is the use of this kind of reading? It's also what is the use of this kind of hearing? We should put one, two points in our heart because it's not possible to remember everything. Because whatever we are listening, we have to meditate, like Jayananda just said. And this is possible only if we are put one point stop our mind loitering around and try to go deep in the meaning of these words even one word and i think that we are so fortunate that we have such a gurudev who is with his own explaining is showing us the way how to do that he can give the lectures and lectures on only one word. I think that many of us has experience of that. Only one name of Radhika. Why? Because he is going deeply, 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 and the things are appearing in his heart, and we are so lucky that he is spitting through his mouth this nectar. And the first, you can see the beginning of the line of these words is giving a very nice hint how to do this meditation in details, not general things, in details. And Prabhupada Saraswati is saying, when I will forget everything else, stop. When will I forget everything else? The question is arising, do I want to forget everything else? <laughs> this is the first thing. If I don't want to forget everything else, then there is no any meaning of other part of sentence. So this is the, our own endeavor, homework and sadhana. Do I really want to forget everything else? And why? I don't want to forget or why 
I want to forget. This is inner, inner practice. Discussion with the mind. This is mana shiksha also. It's not Raghunath's mana shiksha, but the words, uh, verses from mana shiksha is actually directing devotees to ask his, he has to ask himself the questions. Do I really want to forget material world? Do I really want to forget my materialistic experiences? Or still, I want to remember it. Because my ident identity is confirmed through this remembrance. So many people are talking about past. Why? Because this is the way how they confirm their identity. And then he is saying, I want to forget everything else while mentally serving the Radhika, the heroine. And he is starting to describe this beautiful personality on which he wants to meditate and to engage mental service. Who is she? So this is the way how we can know Radhika better. Who is she? Expert in all arts of love making. Radhika is expert. There is no other Gopi and Sakhi who can be such expert in the arts of love making, and not only in one art, in all arts of love making. Then he is explaining another quality of Shimati Radhika, who is seen in lovely forest paths of Sri Vrindavan. She is wandering through this beautiful, natural Vrindavan in always looking forward how to meet the Krishna, sometimes to escape from him for his pleasure and again meet him. And then he is explaining, Prabhupada is same sentence explaining with which mood she is wandering through the lovely forest paths of Rindavana in deep, passionate feelings. With Anurag. This is the quality of our Swamini. That she is always passionate in her feelings. And Prabhupada Saraswati wants to forget everything else because he wants to meditate and absorb his mind and heart in this lovely personality of Shimati Radhika who has a passionate, a deep passionate, not passionate superficially, outside. External only, deep, passionate feelings. Stop. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Like Guru Dev is saying, you can meditate with closed eyes on this scene, or you can meditate with open eyes with this scene. You can, but do you want? Do you want to forget everything else? Do you want to serve mentally Radhika, my dear? Do you want to see her in 
loving forest paths? And do you want to see, hear, feel, touch her passionate Mahabhava form? And in next sentence, he's saying, accepting very sweet and devoted mood in my heart. I need to accept Manjari Bhav, who is very, which is very sweet and devoted mood in my heart. Why I cannot accept it? Which kind of blockages I have? Please, I need the help to remove these blockages, which usually come from false ego, shortly to say. We can elaborate these blockages, but all they are concentrated in just one blockage of false ego. So uh, accepting a very sweet, devoted mood in my heart, I will dwell in the Kunja on the bank of Yamuna. This is the way how I want to meditate on my presence in Vrindavan. In my wandering around Vrindavan. In my coming in Vrindavan and never leaving Vrindavan. Because I have to accept the mood, proper mood, for living in Vrindavan. And he is saying, I want to dwell in a kunja on the bank of Yamuna that is filled with abundance, abundance, sorry, of fresh nectar of love rasa that flows from Shiradika's lotus feet. Lotus feet are the shelter of Krishna. Lotus feet of Shimati Radharani are shelter of her maidservants. Krishna is taking the shelter of this lotus feet because they are fresh nectar of love rasa. And he is always hankering for fresh nectar. Sorry, not nectar which is old. Stinky nectar. Nectar cannot be stinky. It's always fresh. Because it's giving him, giving, giving, giving him abundance of pleasure. And manjaris are also taking this shelter of Radhika's lotus feet and receiving from her this fresh nectar of love of Shimati Radhika. Stop. That's it. We have to flow in the words of Mahavan, Mahajanas, because they are relishing and we have opportunity to taste the drops. And these drops are actually not only drops, they are oceans.
What a wonderful mental service Sripada aspires for in this verse. It is a brilliant example for all practitioners of Raganuga Bhakti. An ever fresh abundance of Prema Rasa streams from Radhika's lotus feet into the Kunja on the bank of the Yamuna where Sripada serves Shpirada Mohan. Although Radha and Mohana eternally play their transcendental pastimes in sweet Vrindavan Dham, this is not visible to the eyes of the ordinary man. The word Mahodhara, very generous in the text, means that pure love which is free from any kind of desire for personal sense gratification. A person who serves Radha and Mohana with such pure love will gradually become purified and become aware of his Siddhasvarupa, his actual, eternal, transcendental identity. Shri Padra says, When will I forget everything while accepting this sweet Mahodara mood and mentally serve that jewel of grave yet passionate heroine? that is so expert in the arts of love. Although she is as grave as millions of oceans, Srimati passionately goes out to meet Mohana in the Kunja on the bank of the Yamuna followed by her maid servant. Passionately, Srimati looks all around, thinking, where is my pranana? Beautifying the whole of Vrindavan with her glances. When Madhu Sudana the Rastika Krishna bee catches Nagari Mani's bodily fragrance. He becomes attracted to her and approaches her on the forest path. But the grave Radhika shows signs of opposition. She gives great relish to her hero by showing this opposition because that simply increases his amorous eagerness. The whole kuncha is inundated by the flood of Shiradika's prema rasa as she gives indescribable ecstasy to her lover with her artful love-making. 
Shripada thinks to himself. Comment? Oh. Shripada thinks to himself. When will I be so fortunate that I can mentally serve that sweet romantic couple in the bushes on the bank of the Yamuna? Thus ends the verse 214. Yes, Sripad is praying. to practice Raga Nuga Sadhana Bhakti in the mood of Manjar Bhav. When I will mentally serve, he even didn't say, I want visions, I want direct darshan. I just want that my mind and heart be always absorbed in this thinking and feeling of my beloved Srimati Radhika. So this is the humbleness of such sublime person who is saying, like ordinary person or devotee, I don't want to think about anything else. I need mercy for that because I want to think only how I serve mentally in my mind. In my mind, how I am serving in my spiritual identity, my beloved Shimata Radhika. This is my prayer. And if something happened, in regarding this, then it's okay. But at least I want to serve mentally, because through mental service, I have a faith that I will have direct association with my Radhika. By imagining, visualizing my spiritual identity, like her maid servant, I have a faith, Nishta, that with my Guru, Manjari, I am always with my beloved Swami. So this is my prayer. And this is also my prayer. <laughs> Radhe Radhe. When you have that, my point of view, when you have that point, Prabhu, you pray for be in that in that mood, in that service, right? As I understood. Yes. Hmm. And when the, this visualization will come, will happen, you will be very happy. Yes. But still in my mind, when I'm more absorbed in my visualization, I want that I feel that I'm there. Well, this because will be make of uh, transportation. <laughs> you want to be there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But by, because by the spirit point, you want to be there with your consciousness. Consciousness of the spiritual identity. It means consciousness. And you want to be there. Yes. This is my aspiration. You, and when you will be there, they will you will be will be fight, not problem. If you want to be there, I will find a way to be there. You will find. As you say now, because we can, many words, uh, you said that you want to be there. 
with the spiritual consciousness. So what's the point? What's the problem not to be there? What will be the, your personal goal to be there through your goal? It's a problem. My materialistic consciousness, my embodiment, that I am this body. Prabhu is a big my block. problem. This is, yes, I have a big block. So I am praying and trying so block. to receive like a cement. mercy. How can it be possible? No, no. For me, no, but I'm crazy or you crazy, Prabhu. No. Let me understand. I'm crazy for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but me too, also, to not understand you. <laughs> well, you are in associate. Well, I, we, well, I, I you want to be in love or with who? With the, oh, I don't understand. It's our family. That uh, everybody's going that direction. So for us, no problem. Please block it by your physical position. What is the problem? Uh, you want me to come to visit you? I was blocked. Or you want to come to stay with me sometimes? I was blocked very easily. You was blocked. I'm an engineer. I study engineer mechanics. <laughs> and now I'm engineer of my spirits. Through all my associates, guru, parampara, Prabhu, come on. I don't understand. I you, you confuse. I need your blessings. Yes, oh, I'm, you, oh, I'm confused. Are oh, you confused? <laughs> I need your blessings. No, my blessing is there. I said I can come visit you. Maybe some physical contact. You see me, and maybe the block can change. I don't know. Tell me. Or you come to Vrindavan, and Guru Dev is here. It's beautiful. Adam one is here. All the thing is here. His goal is to yes. meditate. Meditate. Radha Mohan. Yes. But Radha Mohan, he wants to be, he, he goes to he visit him. Here we go. No, this is a kind of mental service. Yes. Mental service. But a lot, everything is mental, me mental now. <laughs> service. We are doing a mental service. Like a Zoom. So what he said is, is no problem. We go and visit him. Like Radha Mohan wants, if he doesn't want, we go. In a kind of meditation. In I, in we a, can meditate. In a med in a practice. Yeah, I understood. In for what you meditate? In the service? As a manjari, as a kinari, as a, 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 a gopi. It's good. But you have to move daily by day. Yes. In that mood. Yes, yes, sure. So it, I think that he speaks perfect. I love how he speaks. I was fascinated by speaking. Yes. Yes. But uh, it's block, he said. What, what is your block? It's humbleness. Okay. So what is the... Can I do something for him? I don't know. Or he can do for him. For, for me, I, I seem very happy. He looks like when he speaks, maybe some uh, mood. But I, you understand what I mean? So like you know, so we want to we want to meditate internally, you know. So just to I think you know, Goranga Sundara Prabhu say, just we want to meditate, but humbly he say, my ego is broken, my bodily consciousness is broken, you know, you know this kind of, you know. So so, so so you know, but he well, saying. Suffering now, no, he's but humbly he's much loving that he had to, to yeah, yeah, you know, get that goal. That yeah, he, he's meditating, as he said, beautiful, yes, beautiful. Why was his block because of humbleness? Even, even, ah, even, and yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah, because you know, humbleness, we say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, shall we say that he's so proud of love of Swamini that. This humble has come. Yes. Because, you know, it, it is a humbleness. So humble is yes. loving for swimming. And yes. being that past time yes. there, yes. it do is humbleness way. Yes, it's so. so. This is a humbleness. Yeah, but no, because he said that they have a block, okay, yeah, yeah, ego, there, there. So. And because of humbleness. Ah, uh, a metaphor. Yes, yeah. yes, and, yes, and yes, speak, yes. Excuse me, what is your background, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I think that this is... Your study, what is your we, background? We can, we can we can little bit stop here because time is already 
And I'm coming in Vrindavan soon, so we can uh -huh. share okay. our embraces. Okay, okay. Yes, my dear. Okay. We can share our embraces and our yeah, talkings. Yeah, of course. So it will be very nice, but uh, yeah. devotees from different parts of the world are... A different so mood, I, yes. Yeah. I am sorry that uh, I made no, no, disturbances. Sorry, man. Man, <laughs> for my, <laughs> for my <laughs> arrogance, but uh, yeah, what should I do? I do. I'm. Who am I? Please forgive me. Please forgive you me. see, Radhika is so Radhika. beautiful. Radhika. Croatia, beautiful, my dear. So serious also. <laughs> Thank you, Rasamayi, for your yeah, nice I, reading. No many lessons I remember. My Thank you, Bayaji. <laughs> thank yeah, you. Many months. And thank you, translators, because we should always understand that because without translators, I love that, so many devotees will not be able to go in this kind of deep subjects. And our beloved Gurudev, who is from the back, is giving us and nourishing us, giving support to us. Radhe Radhe. Gurudev. Jai Shri Radhe. Jai Baba. Radhe Radhe Radhe. Jai Ho. Jai Jananda Ji. Jai, thank you very much. Jai Radhe Radhe. I want to come to see Croatia. I am like to speak like this from Paris. So if they understand, they understand. Ay, so is so many. Radhe Radhe. Oh, Diane DJ. And the better. Then you hear me? Yes, yes, of course. Okay, without microphone. Powerful. <laughs> How are you, my dear? Ready, ready. We wait for you. When are you coming? Ha uh, in half of the match. Half March. Mm -hmm. And am I coming also? Yes, yes, of course. Jai. Guru Dev like a Kangen, my dear. So you're very fortunate. You will you will have the water when you come in March. So Radha Mohan is loving flu going through it beautifully, my dear. By the blessing of Radha Mohan and the Gregor Day, now we have the water for all devotees. That's my was my poor part. Wellness and, and health and spiritual energizer. <laughs> Animal, ready, ready. I'm so happy. Grudev gave me so much love in these two months, my dear. Sorry if I spoke about it. That's because it's difficult with me to meet him. He is very busy, me very super busy. So now I speak the front of the devotee, how me and Dianidi love each other so much. <laughs> Say Dianidi, please, please. Yes, of course. <laughs> now you see, of course. <laughs> I am still always your young brother, right? Yeah. In the mood, you know my style. I like a bambino, you know. Capisci, what you do? Joker alone, Thank you, Goranga Sundara, so much for your for the nectar, and I really was very inspired by your words. Thank you Thank for you sharing your heart you. with us. Thank you very Thank much, you. all of you. Grazie, grazie. Grazie, all the bodies. Jai Guru De. Jai Guru De, all the bodies. Thank you, Goranga. Grazie. Grazie, grazie. Grazie, grazie. This is Goranga. I like very much because. To reach the there, this we have to practice. Only imagine that I will be in Siddha Deha is not possible without this. Sadak Deha has to do this. Without Sadak Deha, not listen 
and not chanting. Listening is also important. You say one thing very nice. One is hearing and one is listening. I like this word. I hear many things, but listen once I accept from my heart and take this in our heart and practice is very rare. Is it drinking? This listening is a drinking to keep and satisfied with that. So very thankful to understand meaning of listening. Not only hearing, listening. Wow. You think, why not I say? What to say? You say better than me. What to say? Nothing is missing. Je Krishna Tattva Je Krishna Tattva Vetta Sai Guru Hai. You are now Guru. Jai. Jai Ho. Yes. So who is the knower of the spiritual master? This is the qualification who knows about Krishna. With Krishna is not without energy. And energy is the Radhika, a Ladani Shakti Rupa. You say, that. I listen. Rupa, a Ladani Shakti Rupa. Or Jananda Maharaj is reading, reading this. Rupa, Rupa means the form. Of Alladini Shakti. <coughs> she is the original. And all the gopis and manjaris are also expansion of Alladini Shakti. She is the original. Rupa. So this is our practice. A spiritual body to, to become like a Radhani Shakti, always in loving. Wow, beautiful you say the steps, how to do bhajan, how to listen, and this is very helpful. This is the very helpful. I will also try to do that, my dear. Thank you for having us. Good day, Bhakti. This is just your words and your instructions, and I'm very bad in implying that. That's the point. Very I'm talking. I, I need the blessing from all Vaishnava that I can. Applied myself. Yeah. Everybody needs this help to this sadhak because yeah. he is the unbalanced because of the false ego. If he is not balanced, then how I will move for right for direction? Right? Yes. We are learning from you. No, I'm learning. No. I'm learning from you, my dear. No. I'm okay. a student to learn this thing. <laughs> Thank you for this ch chastisement. <laughs>